Good evening. And welcome to Letters and Numbers, a world of new word facts and fun mixed in with a puzzle or two. I'm Richard Moorcroft and here to give us the good oil, the always up-to-date, Lily Serna. Hi, Richard. Are you always up to date? Do you check all the latest news? Well, Richard, I'm hardly going to admit that I don't to an ex-newsreader of 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, I, I do. I like to keep, keep up to date, you know, read um, the news bulletins every night. A little bit of news distraction. Yeah. Well, there'll be more distraction tonight. Welcome, Lily. And with all the latest lexicographically, David Astle. <laughs> Hi, Richard. Thank you. In fact, words do keep becoming... I suppose, new words, you know, and you've taken us through uh, the evolution of language and new words, but how do they get to that point? Well, for example, we have come across the word floaty, uh, which is not listed in the source dictionary. Uh, another one is comp, the verb, as in to comp a ticket, to uh, give a complimentary ticket to someone. And the other is shalom, uh, the Jewish word for greeting. Now, they're three words that are clearly in waiting, ready to join this, uh, this large institution. Well, we're in waiting to get going tonight, but good to see you, David. You too. Let's meet our current contestants, and first up, our carryover champion, Victor Tung, a fire safety engineer who is now back for his fourth appearance. Hello, Victor. Good to be back. Very good to see you back. And as you've now played over a, a number of nights, have you started to develop techniques or noticed things that perhaps you hadn't realised about the show before you started to play? I, I now realise how the numbers are really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Doing it on, with the time pressure. Um, but you've been, interestingly, pretty consistent in your number combination selection, for example. I tried to make it not too easy. Um, so three large and three small is a, a good, good mix to test the, test the brain skills. <laughs> you like to give yourself and everybody else a challenge. Well, I'm sure you will tonight. Welcome back. And in the challenger's seat is Pretty Goyle a software engineer who hopes one day perhaps to become CEO of a multinational company. Hello, Pretty. Hi, Richard. Now, you do have an aspiration for this multinational, very senior role. Yes. What's the attraction? It's just where I want to be down the line, where my future goes. So um, I'm working towards it. Let's see if it happens, but that's where I want to be. Now, in terms of education, uh, you did spectacularly well in, uh, in your, your school and academic qualifications. I believe you even received an award from the Indian president. Yeah, I received a gold medal from the then president of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. It was an absolute honour. Yeah. Uh, it was for being the branch topper in all the four colleges in our university. Well, congratulations, and uh, we look forward to a, a great performance tonight. Yes. So, a very warm welcome, please, for our contestants, Victor Tung and Preeti Goyle. <laughs> and we start the fun with the letters game. Victor, it's your choice. Um, can I have a consonant, please? You can indeed. T. Uh, vowel. U. A consonant. M. Another vowel, please. A. Uh, another consonant. N. A uh, vowel. I. Another consonant. G. Another consonant. D. And follow it up with another consonant. And last letter, S. And our first clock. Well, Victor, starting off a, a new night, how did you go with uh, those letters? I uh, got a seven. Seven. Very nice start. Pretty? I got a five. Let's begin there, please. Gains. Could you spell that for me? G-A-I-N-S. Thank you. Victor? A dusting. D-U-S-T-I-N-G. That's a nice one, David. It's a nice one, and Victor has wisely uh, identified that ING cluster, which is always great uh, to look for when you're playing this game, those clusters that can help you extend, and dusting is good, amusing is another, but one that ignores the ING is Mustang, which is a wild horse, and uh, comes from the Spanish Mestengo, which means untamed. Nice work, David, but nice work from Victor as well to start tonight with seven points. Straight on to our second letters game tonight, and uh, Pretty, this time it's you to make a selection. 
Can I have a ball, please? You can. Let's start with U. And a consonant? R. Another one? L. A wall? E. Another consonant? R. One more consonant, please. T. Another vowel? A. A consonant? X. And one more consonant. And last letter, M. 30 seconds on the clock. So, Pretty, how many for your first selection? Six. Six for you, Victor? I've got six as well. Let's start with yours, Victor. Uh, mature. Mature. And uh, what was yours, Pretty? I got X-term, but I think I've used two E's. So... You've used one of the letters twice? Yes. OK. Un unfortunately, we, uh, we can't accept that then. Uh, but mature sounded good, David? Mature is fine. Uh, well done, Victor. And, in fact, uh, interestingly, there's an R here that I'm sure Victor was tempted to use for mature. Uh, it was sagely avoided because mature, because it is two syllables, an adjective, the R would need to be here. Mature acknowledged it is not. So wisely played. However, mature is also an anagram of erratum, uh, which is literally Latin for having made a mistake and is a, a slip often that accompanies a book that has an error in it for seven. Nice work, David. Well done to Victor. Six points. Let's leave the letters behind for a little while and go to our first numbers game of the night where contestants use a combination of low and high numbers to get to the target. And, uh, Victor, well, we've talked about your selection of uh, combination. What would you like this time? I'd better not change it now. Um, three large and three small, please. Thanks, Victor. Three large and three small. And let's see what we have here. Seven, five, two. And the three large... 75, 150. The target to reach is 845. Thank you, Lily. 30 seconds to get there. Victor, did that combination work for you? It never works. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been too good so far. Anyway, how close did you get? Uh, I think 825. OK, so outside the scoring zone. Uh, what about you, Pretty? I got the 845. You got to 845. Excellent. Could you tell us how you got there, please? Uh, 100 into 7 plus 2. 100 is times 7 plus 2. Is 900. 900. Minus the 50. Minus the 50 is 850. And take away the 5. Is... Minus the 5 is 845. Absolutely on target, Pretty. So uh, a very good method, Lily. Were you happy with that? Yeah, well done, Pretty. I did it the same. The same way from you and uh, a very effective score as well. So 10 full points for Pretty. That's put her on the scoreboard with 10. Victor is on 13 as we go to our first break for tonight. And your first word mix, it's map event. And the clue this time, often found underfoot. Back in a couple of minutes.